Good afternoon, everyone. Just want to give you another quick video message, part two, perhaps, of last night's video message um, regarding seeking truth and uh, detaching yourself from the inner groups and whatnot. Uh, some thoughts that came to mind this morning. I was thinking about that. Is uh, here's a warning to you: if you decide to examine your group so to speak, by detaching yourself, whether emotionally, spiritually, or physically, whatever. Um, be kind of, how can I put this, articulate this? <laughs> um, your faith will more likely be shipwrecked because you're used to one system. And when you realize that truth the devil's still going to work. Satan's still going to work, try to work against you. He wants to try to get you from um, one false system to another false system. So when you leave a group, rest assured, you're you're tender. You're you're prime picking for another false, getting into another false teaching. I know a couple that did that very thing right there. The, the husband stood up and decided that. They were under false teaching, and these were family members, folks. These, This family left this church, and, and the wife of the family, father, was a pastor. So he actually did a good thing. But he led them right back into bondage by swallowing the lie of Calvinism. So you have to be really careful when you when you throw that hand grenade, when you, when you make that decision to leave an inner group you are still uh, susceptible to false teaching to get under another false system so what, you, what I recommend doing is if you're listening to this video message and you have made a decision well I need to do this well let me let me say one thing just get in your Bible don't go any don't go anywhere yet until you are rooted and grounded in grace it's time to rest in the hammock of grace. So before you go from church hopping to church hopping, if you decide that you're under false teaching and you feel like that you have to you have to go to church to be saved, well, again, you're wrong. You're wrong on that. You need to realize what the gospel says. The gospel says we are saved by grace through faith. It's not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay, so don't worry about putting yourself under uh, a church name or a denomination just yet. If you decide to leave your church or group, you need a sabbatical. You need to get. You need to stay. If you've listened to this video messages right now, there are a lot of wonderful grace teachers. Um, just just look at the comments. I can't list them all because there's many of them. I, I listed some last time, and I left some really good ones out. Uh, but I'm not going list to list anybody anymore because I don't want to leave anybody out. <laughs> um, you just look at the comments in this under the uh, last night's video about truth and uh, and how to how to leave an inner group. Uh, you'll see the comments. Just get online there and 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 find you a good grace teacher. You can message. Uh, you could ask me in under this post who is, and I could type out a nice little list of grace teachers. Among and grace pastors, but I just want to say that if you decide to leave an inner group, you need a sabbatical. You need to you need to step away from the structured uh, churches. In my opinion, it's just, a, just an opinion. And then learn to read your Bible in its proper context. And basically, you're starting from scratch. You need to rewire your brain. You need to rewire how you think about things. So take some time. Take your time. If you decide to leave a group, take your time to seek truth. Take your time and read your Bible. Take your time and listen to good grace. Get rooted in grace. That's where you're. That's where you're going to grow. You know, being a weightlifter, I used to lift weights quite a bit. Not as much anymore. But the time that you grow is when you're resting, when you're asleep. That's why rest and sleep is very important for weightlifters. Okay, same same with spiritual growth. When you the more you rest in in Christ in grace, the more that you're going to grow. 
So take this time. If you, if you decide that your group is teaching a false gospel or you're under false teaching, again, take your time. Do Just do a sabbatical and say, you know what? I'm going to regroup. I'm going to go back to basic training and I'm going to be a soldier for grace. I'm going to be a soldier for Christ and I'm going to be a soldier under grace and rest in that hammock of grace because that's good news. So I just want to put that warning out there because some people are... Are, they want to get they want to associate with Christians I get that I understand it and it's good but do it correct do it correctly by doing your research find you a good grace uh, grace pastor and a grace church but just wait just wait and uh, get get rooted and grounded in grace and start from scratch and enjoy and enjoy Christ be a joy joy the rest enjoy being in Christ. But anyway, I just want to give that quick video message, a quick uh, warning. Just don't jump from one false teaching to another just to, for the, just for the sake of being with round people. That don't that doesn't get it. What gets it is realizing the what Jesus went through on that cross for you. Realizing how how simple the simplicity of Christ is and it's beautiful. Realize that and bask in and rest in grace today. And learn to rest in the hammock of grace. But anyway, I just want to throw that out there. Uh, leave some comments, uh, if you would, in the comments section uh, to see if I'll see if we're on the right path. You know, I'm just but a man. I'm just human. I, I, we all make mistakes, and um, just like to hear some comments out there. Love you all, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye bye.